Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Twice Baked Potatoes. Well, coming back at you with a side dish today that's big enough to be a meal all on its own. It's the twice baked potato on the grill. So maybe it's the twice grilled potato. Either way, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna take some big old russet potatoes, roast them on the grill, then we're gonna pop them open, scoop out all the filling, make a really delicious filling to put back in them, and then finish them on the grill top with some cheese. So before we get our potatoes on the grill, we're gonna hit them with a little bit of olive oil just to get them coated. And we're gonna season them up as well because we are gonna be eating the whole thing. We wanna get some seasoning on the outside. And doing that with a little bit of this oil, that's gonna give us a really nice crust and some nice flavor on the potato skin. So we're gonna season these up today with our Cattleman's Grill Trail Dust. Just kind of an all-purpose seasoning, great savory flavors. And we'll hit all surfaces. So scrape up any of that stuff that's fallen off. Let's not waste it. And we'll head over to the grill. So today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running at 400 degrees set up for indirect grilling. So we're gonna go dead center, top shelf, so we're truly in direct heat. Well, our potatoes have been on for about 30 minutes now. I'm gonna throw some bacon on the grill as well so we can add this to the top of our potatoes a little later. So we'll go on the main cooking grate here, although we have these on a rack, and I love the way the bacon cooks on a rack, uh, the way the fat renders out that way. Up top here, getting some nice color, a little bit of crispiness on the skin. Those probably need another 30 minutes, but we'll be checking them here in a little bit. All right, well, the bacon's been on for about 20 minutes and it's looking really nice. So we're gonna pull that off. Up top here, we have our potatoes going. we we'll check and see how tender they are. Still a bit of resistance, so we're gonna let those ride for now. Well, the potatoes have been on for about an hour and a half now. They're super tender on the inside, looking great on the outside. Come take a look. So yeah, we got a nice, crusty skin going on. And when you probe these, not a lot of resistance, and that's what we're looking for. All right, so now that these potatoes are cooked through, we want to get that filling out of the inside. And we're gonna do that by cutting one slit right down the center. Give it a little pinch to pop it open. And then we're gonna scoop out the inside of the potatoes with a spoon. So you kinda wanna leave a bit of a shell so it has some structure. We don't want to leave just the skin behind. And essentially what we're gonna do is make mashed potatoes in our mixing bowl. So about like that is perfect. You want it popped open, nice presentation so that when we fill it back up, we hit it with a little cheese on top, it looks beautiful. All right, so now we've got all that fluffy potato into our bowl. Next, we're going to add a half cup of unsalted butter, quarter cup of half and half, and one cup of sour cream. So we're really gonna cream this up. We're gonna hit it with a little bit more of that trail dust seasoning, another tablespoon or so. And we'll get this on the stand mixer. So we'll slide that on there with the paddle attachment. And we're just gonna start whipping these potatoes. And then we're gonna add a little bit of internal garnish as well with some fresh chives. And we're gonna dice up about yeah, a couple pieces of our bacon to go inside, the rest will go on top. All right, let's give our filling a taste. Oh yeah, it's like super creamy mashed potatoes, but with the bite of that bacon, the bacon crunch and the saltiness, you get a little bit of fresh chive as well. Let's get this loaded back into our potato skins and we'll put them back on the grill to melt some cheese on top. So we're just gonna load that filling back in there. We'll start modest and then we can kind of top them off once we get them all filled up. And you can go any kind of cheese you like on top. We're just gonna use a sharp cheddar today. So that's it. These are ready to go back on the grill. So we'll slide these right back on top. We're just looking to get the cheese melted. Uh, everything's already still very warm, so that's the main goal here. It's been about 30 minutes that our twice-baked potatoes have been back on the grill and they're looking great. Oh yeah, nice melted cheese on top, getting some browning around the edges. 
That's what we're going for. All right, not much left to do now, guys. So we're just gonna get the green ends of some green onions to put on top of our twice baked potatoes along with the rest of our bacon that we cooked up earlier. Now we could do any number of toppings on this, but we're gonna keep it pretty simple today with just a little bit more sour cream. A bit of those bacon bits and some fresh green onion. Well, let's open it up and have a taste. Oh yeah, gosh, that smells good. What a perfect little potato bowl, right? Mmm, dang, that is so creamy. I mean, you get like the full effect of a loaded baked potato, but like in mashed potato form. I mean, that's exactly what I want to put on the side of a great holiday dish. But shoot, you could eat that any time of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.